What's going on guys? It's Jim. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to School Bus Simulator Desert Ridge. Uh, I recently just got done finishing uh, building a school for this game, so I figured uh, we'd go ahead and do another video on it. Quite possibly the last video we do on it before my school is introduced into the game. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, let's see. I don't think anything has pretty much changed just yet. Um, as some of you guys may or may not know, if you're involved in the Discord server, uh, the owner of this game is, uh, quite busy, so, um, let's see, what do we want to drive? Uh, didn't we drove, we drove an HDX last time, I'm quite sure of it. Um, let's drive a T3RE, that's what we're driving. Let's go 2015, why not? Okay, but I feel like we might have tried driving this last time, but why do I get the feeling something was wrong with it? I don't know. Anyway, let's do six. All right. Oh, no. Close that door. Okay. It does have sound, which is a good sign. Some of the buses are outdated. I think I mentioned that last time. Um, I don't know if those are going to be worked on. Like I said, I am part of the development team here. However, my sole objective uh, so far was only just to build a new school, which I just completed. Um, not my finest work, but pretty decent looking school if I do say so myself. So um, interested to see when that gets implemented and where it's going to be. Um, in fact, I, I think it's for this game. I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's a desert, it's, it's, excuse me, it's Desert Ridge uh, Elementary School, so I'm assuming it's for this game. I never have a problem with stuttering, but whenever I try to get something out pretty quickly, usually you start to stutter. So, let's see here. Is this, this is a diesel. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up because might need to. Um, now, I uh, I edited my mic settings a little more. I got kind of a more of a lo-fi preset, um, so I, I don't know if it's gonna sound any better, but uh, we'll see. I never get any complaints about my mic settings, so. I, 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 um, it's solely just me not satisfied with how I sound, so, um, I think my mic settings are pretty good, um, but, or pretty good to the viewers, at least, I never get any complaints on it, so, yep, okay, go ahead and turn that off, and we will go ahead and do a PM route, because yes. And I know we've been talking about this quite a bit, but my goodness, how this group has grown. Um, it, it It's grown quite a bit since we've uh, first introduced it on the channel, uh, which wasn't even really that long ago. It was a few months ago. Um, now it's all the way up to 4,300 members, which is just crazy. Um, I mean, nuts. So, that's cool. We're going to be going straight here, picking up from this Desert Ridge Kindergarten to 8th Grade Academy. Bum, bum. Now, I'm also wondering if my school's going to replace another school or if it's just being added. Uh, because I know they have this academy here. I'm receiving a call from a number I don't recognize. Gotta love that. Um, I don't know if it's replacing the school or if it's just kind of a new addition. I didn't get very much information about it. I just got reference photos and 
just started building off of that, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this game's also going to be receiving a winter update. Uh, not 100% sure on that. Um, I have no say in that, I don't think. Um, in fact, I don't have, like, uh, uh, like base plate access or anything like that, so. Um, but speaking of winter updates, uh, my game, Starline's almost quite completed for the winter update. Um, still got to put some decorations in. I definitely want to make it bigger than the Halloween update because I didn't go all out for that. Like I said, I would, <laughs> but, um, Christmas is Christmas and winter is just, that's a whole nother ball game. Seems like everybody loves Christmas. Okay. Alrighty then. Yep, so I've got uh, my bus is prepped for the winter update. Um for decoration wise and I even posted a little sneak peek. I've added some uh, some features are going to be in my game that I've actually you're going to see some similarities with uh, upstate New York in my game uh, considering uh, I am now the head developer at Midwest Bus Company so a lot of the things I'm implementing in my game I'm in implementing over there as well um, so and you, you'll see what those are I won't go ahead and release inf any information but you'll see when it releases there'll be a few similarities our first stops just right up here I love the parking brake sound and the doors those sound good What does that say? Violation of motor carrier safety regulations to stand in front of wild line while buses in a... Where's the line at? I think there's supposed to be like a line like right there, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. What does that say? This bus parks at Fair Park lot, spot number 20. But it says 26. <clears throat> I wonder if 20 is also a T3RE. Probably. Actually, we can find out. Oh, 20 is not even... Not even in the game. Love to see it. Or wait, was it 20 or 30? 20. Okay. Weird. And this is a cul-de-sac. I had no idea. I thought it kind of wrapped around, but it doesn't. Okay. Not going to be able to make a complete turn. Might end up breaking this guy's porch, but that's okay. Dude, the air brakes sound so nice. Come on now. They can sound a bit repetitive, though, when you're doing them over and over like that. Okay. Oh, look at the mailbox right there. I didn't even notice that.
I'm actually looking into getting a better spawner uh, because my spawner or the Huxley spawner does not work as well as I thought it would. Um, in fact, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. My game's not gonna have very many buses. Uh, I think. Well, it's got so. The thing is, for every bus model I add, I have to add at least 10 slots for that bus model because my server sizes are 10. So let's say 10 people join, and this could happen, but what if all 10 of them want to drive the same exact bus model? I have to have at least 10 in there. Um, and when, when I say 10, I mean like, you know, the Huxley spawner has, you know, different slot options or whatever. I don't know if there's a way around that where I can just... I don't know, but I have to have 10 for every bus model. Um, now, the chances of that happening are very low. Not everybody's going to want to drive the same model, but I keep that in there just to be fair, I guess you could say. Um, another cul-de-sac up here. But, yeah, so if, if it weren't that way, then I wouldn't have very many... Um, bus slots um but when you take into account okay I, that was a horrible parking job by the way um i only have three bus models right now so that's what is that that's 30 30 bus slots in my spawner when i look at something like this you know it's only got two four six eight nine ten eleven spots here plus the four here and another seven um i'm just wondering if i should just do something like that with a different spawner i don't recognize this actually i have seen this spawner before i don't know who sells this one uh, i'll probably have to look into it because the huxley one is just not the greatest and i'm i kind of thinking that's why they took it off off sale for those of you who don't know they they did take it off sale i don't know I th I'm thinking that's why. Maybe they're making a new one. Or they do have a new one that's just not up for sale. Um, which I would like to get my hands on that one. Uh, I'm sure it works a lot better. But yeah. Not at the top list of my priorities. Um, I don't know. If any of you guys have a Huxley spawner out there, uh, let me know if it works for you guys. Apparently, I, I, I have a lot of problems with. Uh, the spawner not recognizing that a bus is already spawned in and it just allows another player to spawn that same bus in on top of the same bus or it just completely despawns the other person's bus. I don't know. It's very weird. I don't know because I didn't do very much editing to the script so I couldn't have broken it. But I don't know. I'd like to get to a point where I don't have to use anybody's assets and stuff like that but... I'm not that talented of a scripter. So I do what I can. But plus I, I'm all, I'm also like loaded with Robux. So I got the money to spend. I would, you know, I, I value my time. So if I don't have to sit down and make a script, I won't. I'll just buy it from a trusted seller, you know. So I don't know. That's just me, though. I don't know. I don't know. But when it comes to building, I love to build. Don't get me wrong. I love to, I will take time out of my day to sit down and build something. Um, so, and that's one thing I want to do for Starline. I do have some builds in there that I have purchased. I want to swap those out with my builds, which I'm, I'm already starting to do. Um, this hasn't been announced on my Discord server yet, but I have started building the first field trip location. And I will let you guys know that it is a bowling alley. So, very cool. Um, that's something that was long overdue. Field trip locations should have been should have been added, like, on day five. But work's just been getting in the way. So, Yeah. Roll that stop sign, didn't we? Sure did.
Whoa, let's try not to hit the mailbox. And let's try to get a thumbnail. If we can. I kind of like this angle here. You can't see the messed up Bluebird logo. So, oh wait, you know what? I like that one. That's a nice one. I don't know though. It kind of seems like I'm headed right for their front yard. Who cares? Who cares? Also, I don't think the horn works for some reason. Oh, it does. That's weird. It wasn't, I clicked it like five times and it wasn't working. Yeah. Come on. Clear it, clear it, clear it. Didn't clear it. I now owe him $2,000 in property damage. Anyway. We got uh, about one more stop. Uh, maybe two more. We'll start heading back to the lot. One thing I do like about this bus is the uh, storage compartments. I've always liked those on buses. They almost look a little plain without them. Because my district has, uh, every, I think I, like every bus in my district has uh, storage compartments. So. Okay, we'll start heading back to the lot. Okay. Also kind of like how simple simplified this game is or this map is. It's not too much. Not too much at all. Very simple. I kind of like that. All right. <clears throat> Reserved. What is this? Visitor exit. Cool. <clears throat> also, we got to get a texture for this grass. I hate, I've said it before, but I hate the default Roblox texture for grass. It's just so bad. We've got to get a better one. Where's 26? Oh, uh, okay. Wait a minute. 26 is right there. Okay, so this does belong in spot 20, but it's number 26. Uh, I guess we'll just mark it where we found it. So. We found it in spot 20. Yeah. Okay. Does this open? Sweet. It's actually kind of cool. Okay. What does that say? Nice. Anyway. Yep. Just wanted to do another video on this. Oh my God. I got two guys walking through. Woo. Got two guys walking near me. Okay. Um, uh, I just wanted to do another video on this game before my school gets implemented into it. 
Um, I do encourage you all to check this game out for yourselves if you haven't already. Wow, they're just going to hop right in, aren't they? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you guys do wish to play this game, your stuff will be linked in the description down below. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.